So like the title states, today we will be diving into an in-depth benchmark analysis with both the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. After updating to iOS 17.02, I have noticed better performance when compared to the base version of iOS 17. Henceforth, I decided to see if Apple further optimized the performance of the 15 Pro Max, especially due to the many existing claims of the S23 Ultra having a superior GPU. On a side note, I am testing in 25 Celsius ambient temperature. Now with this being said, let's start with Geekbench 6, a CPU test, and then dive into the in-depth test regarding the GPU. So as expected by now, we're all aware of the CPU performance differences between both the S23 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max. The real CPU competition will definitely be the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 phones that should be releasing in December to January next year. But here, there's a huge gap between these phones in both single core and multi-core score performance. We are seeing roughly a 40% performance improvement here with the iPhone. This explains how this 15 Pro Max was able to beat the S23 Ultra in my recent Genshin Impact FPS test comparison as Genshin is a CPU bound game. All in all, the iPhone definitely wins this first round. Now, let's move into the GPU, which has been the huge talk amongst other test reviewers. So for my testing tool, I will be using 3 Mark due to this benchmark being continually up to date compared to others and closely reflecting real life GPU performance usage experiences unlike the others. Now with this being said, for the first test, we will use Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, which is a cross-platform intensively synthetic 4K graphical game that stresses both devices to the max for 20 minutes. Now with this test completed, I am in utter shock. Both phones basically score the same performance scores. We can see a hair gap difference in both the best loop and the lowest loop scores. This just shows the exact opposite of what many tech reviewers are claiming regarding the inferior GPU performance of the 15 Pro Max. In my opinion, they are definitely a tie, but to be fair, the S23 Ultra does have a slight edge in the lowest loop score, even though it's less than 1%. So the S23 wins the second round, but because I'm still in shock as I've never seen this before, I figured I would run the same benchmark again. Maybe it was a fluke, and in actuality, the S23 Ultra really does have the superior GPU like many claimed, because right now, they are really a tie. So with that being said, let's dive into this 20 minute intensive stress test again. Now with this test completed for the second time, again, still in shock. Both scores are incredibly close, just like last time. This time, we are seeing much better peak performance with the iPhone 15 Pro Max if we look at the best loop scores, which is roughly a 10% performance difference. However, as many of you know by now, I don't really consider best loop scores as important when compared to the lowest loop scores. When gaming or doing GPU heavy tasks, no one is doing these tasks for just a minute, which directly equates to the best loop score. Therefore, sustained performance, which is the lowest loop score, is more crucial. And again, because both phones are a splitting hair difference in the lowest loop scores, I believe they are a tie. But to be fair, just like I did for the S23 Ultra for the second round, for this third round, if we look at the lowest loop scores, the iPhone is having a slight 1% performance advantage over the S23 Ultra. Thus, the iPhone wins this third round. Now, let's move on to our last test, which is 3 Mark's new GPU test, Solar Bay. This is another 20 minute stress test, but this time it's also simulating a ray trace of intensive gaming GPU workload. Last but not least, looking at these final results, again, I'm not surprised. If we look at the lowest loop scores, which I explained earlier are more important, both phones are basically tied in performance scoring. The iPhone does have an initial 20% performance gap, but this only lasts for the first minute or two before throttling down to the same lowest loop score. Hence, again, both phones are a draw in my opinion, but to be fair to the iPhone, it did slightly edge out the S23 Ultra in both best loop scores and lowest loop scores, even if it was a point. So for this last round, the iPhone wins. 
end conclusion, after all four rounds, it's quite clear that the iPhone remains on top when it comes to CPU performance. However, as far as GPU, these results are very controversial. In my opinion, the GPU performance is exactly the same between both of these devices. But if you go by which phone won the most rounds, the iPhone wins in the GPU department. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if these GPU tests surprised you as much as it did for me. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my camera test and the iPhone 15 Plus review.